Dear One Plus God family, I pray that you are well. If there's one thing I think that we all get pretty excited about, then it is the incredible miracles that Jesus did when he walked this earth. I love the Gospel of John. The Gospel of John actually records some of the most incredible miracles that Jesus did. We read in John chapter 6 that Jesus did a whole bunch of miracles and at one point in verse 2 of John 6, we read that he performed a lot of miracles healing all the sick people. And then he went up on a mountainside and he sat down with his disciples. I've had the privilege a couple of times in my life to be on that precious mountain where a miracle happened where Jesus multiplied the bread and the fish that precious day where we had this enormous crowd. It seems like if we would count the women and the children together with the 5,000 men, we, we might be looking at something like 20,000 people. Can you imagine that? So they have this privilege to listen to Jesus speak all day long. At some point it gets late. People get hungry. Jesus recognizes this. We read in verse 5 that Jesus looks up but he sees this crowd. And then he says to Philip, Philip, where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? Now, I'm pretty sure you know the story well, right? This is one of the miracles that you hear from Sunday school times. Big crowd, hungry. Jesus asked the disciples, they're like, huh, wow, how are we going to do this? And they find this little boy with some bread and fish. And Jesus prays, multiply it, and everybody eats. And I think that's pretty much what we remember, and that's pretty cool. However, tucked away in John 6, 6, there's something that we often miss when we hear about this miracle. Let me read that to you. He's asking to Philip, where shall we buy bread for these people? Then verse 6, he asked this only to test him. For he had already in mind what he was going to do. Jesus is asking Philip, Philip, how are we going to address this challenge? And he wants to test him. So what, what does he want to test him about, I wonder? Well, Philip, you know, he of course goes like, wow, how will we solve this problem? And he jumps in verse 7 to money. Tries to figure out how will we solve this with the funds that we might be able to, to get a hold of. He says eight months wages would not buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. And then another disciple, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, he says in verse 9, Well, let's look at what stuff we have. Oh, here is a boy. He has five small barley loaves and two small fish. But again, how far will that go? Friends, <laughs> I think we are somewhat the same sometimes. We are faced with a big challenge in our lives. Whether it's a challenge in our marriage or with the kids, something that's happening in your job or your business, or perhaps you're a student and, and you're just facing something big. And we can jump so quickly either to how much money do we have to solve this problem, or what resources, what stuff, what gifts, what talents, what abilities, who do we know, who can help us to get out of this? And I'm not saying we should not use our money, I'm not saying we should not use our resources of the people that we know around us and counselors and pastors and, and business people and managers of banks or whatever. However, however, I think Jesus is trying to teach his disciples, please remember, Remember what I just did. Remember all these miracles. Remember that I am here. Remember that I am in the room. Why don't you start with me? How would this go? Father, I'm, I'm just jealous of something incredible here. I have no idea where to start. But I know I have you. I'm just going to start with you. I'm just going to ask you. Because I'm pretty sure you already know what I need to do. Why don't we do that? right now. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, yeah, I, I don't know what our dear One Plus God family is going through, each one of them, wherever they are in the world, but I pray that those who are praying with me right now will have a deep sense of your presence, will have a, a real realization again, my Lord is in the room, and we want to ask you, Lord, please show us what you already know what we should do. Please reveal what resources, people we need to go to. What do we need to do? Please reveal to us. 
what you already know to get through this challenge in Jesus name. Amen. God bless God family. I pray that you have a blessed rest of the day. Bye bye.